if I lose my life, then I'll gladly leave this earth as long as I get to take Miss Franklin with me. Are you sure you weren't hurt? I'm not hit. I'm fine, Ben. I'll sign Theodosius' palace over to you. If you got a rose, then it didn't come from me. Don't worry, Vanessa. Soon, you and I will be together. Once you're mine, you'll appreciate all the gifts I give you. Where are you headed off to? I'm going to meet with Owen and celebrate the fact that Devante is going to prison. You sure have been pretty quiet since the trial ended. I would have assumed that you would throw a fiesta after Father gifted you with full control of Theodosius' palace. I'm still wondering if the gift was conditional. Father is a lot of things in the shell, but I don't think there's a condition whatsoever. He knew how you felt after he was found guilty. Unless you're going to the sentencing to secure your spot as the next in line to run this hotel. I'm coming. Ben? Hey, Quinlan. How are you holding up? I'm thankful to be alive, even if it means that Adaku lost her life. To be honest, I wasn't sure if I should reach out to you after everything that's happened. Thanks for inviting me to your cookout, Vanessa. No problem. After what you've been going through at the trial, I knew you would need some fun. Now you get to relax with my family and I on Haitian Flag Day. Hey, Vanessa. Why celebrate? Why not, Udell? After waiting around 20 long years for justice, I know Elvira will want us to celebrate. How come I didn't again invite? Probably because Owen gets the point that you don't seem to like him. Besides, I still don't see what the big deal is. Owen helped throw Devante in prison. We should both be grateful. Just because Owen happened to be the prosecutor on the case? doesn't mean that I'm going to worship the ground he walks on, Wanda. Nobody's saying that you have to, but the way you're acting makes it seem like you're angry he did something you couldn't. I don't know if I'll be going to the sentencing. Does that also mean you still don't know what you're going to do when Father signs Theodosius' palace over to you? Are you asking me this because you still want the hotel, Pacho? I only tried to go after the hotel to make sure this family was well taken care of. I'm good with my online retail business. Besides, I've got my sights on other things. As for you, Theodosius' palace is yours. You can do with it whatever you see fit. I'm not even sure if I want it. I stood by dad this entire time and didn't believe that he could be the monster everyone said he was. On top of that, this hotel was built on lies and criminal activity. That's true. But take this opportunity as a chance to rewrite our family's legacy and rise above the faults of those who came before us. I just wanted to give you some space so you could process everything after Adaku held you hostage. Now that Adaku's gone, I know that Zeke and I are no longer in danger. As for my job, that's a different story. I'm sure you'll be okay. The board of the news station will have to find someone to take over since Adaku clearly can't. But everything's gonna be fine. 
Ben, I really appreciate you coming here, but you're awfully kind today. I hope you're not here just because I could have lost my life. Tati, Rosaline, and Didi send their love and wish they could be here. I can't believe that before the year ends, Tati might not even be here anymore. We just gotta appreciate her while we can. You seem kind of distracted, Jeremiah. Max Russo is here. We did tell Vanessa and JJ that they can bring their friends. Yo vle vini la pou manje a. E si Vanessa di Max se yon zami Jeremiah, nou bezwen kweli. Thanks for inviting me. No problem. We're friends now, and my parents told me I could invite friends. Does your family have a barbecue every Haitian Flag Day? Back in Miami, we would go to parades. Since we've been blessed with this house, my parents decided to invite family over and try to make this cookout an annual thing. Hey, Ulyssa. Hi, Max. Hey, JJ. Is that supposed to be for me? Lucky guess. I knew you were down after the trial, so I wanted to cheer you up. I remembered you telling me how you lost some bubble guppies toy years ago during some family vacation and never got it back. Thought I could cheer you up with a new one. Thank you so much, JJ. It means a lot. What's that supposed to mean, Wanda? I'm just wondering if you're upset that Owen helped Elvira to get justice while you sat on the sidelines. That's ridiculous. Besides, how old was Owen when Elvira lost her life? Probably like 12 or 13? Exactly. Owen was just entering middle school while we were entering our senior year of high school. Your point? My point is, Owen wouldn't have been able to do a single thing back then. Let's not forget how you could have spoken up about Devante sleeping with Elvira after she lost her life. What are you doing here? It's fine, Pacho. I asked Zeke to come. Can you leave us alone? All right, but I'll be in the other room. How are you, Nichelle? I was going to ask you the same thing since I heard that Adaku could have taken Quinlan's life if Ben Russo didn't get to them on time. She's still shaken up. But I'm glad I still got my sister. Since Adaku is gone, you are free, right? Yeah, I ain't selling her stuff no more. I'm glad to hear it, Zeke. But I also know about my family's connection to the Danjumas. I asked you to come here so that I could apologize. Everything about the Adaku situation gave me time to put things into a new perspective. What sort of new perspective? Since Christmas, I was so focused on making sure that I would never see you again. Out of my life for good. And my wish almost came true. It troubles me to know that my wish was almost granted in the worst way imaginable. But I'm still alive then. Besides, it's not like what Adaku tried to do was your fault. It kind of is. You only got involved because I drew you into all of this. Since Adaku didn't succeed in taking my life, I give you permission to go on hating me again. What if I don't want to hate you anymore, Quinlan? How about I introduce you to some of my cousins? I would love to meet your family, JJ. JJ doesn't usually go all out to gift people the way he gifted Ulyssa, even if he is friends with them. Speaking of gifts, did you ever find out who sent you the rose? I didn't. What did you do with the rose then? I threw it away. Keith, you were able to make it. Just when I thought we've moved past my biggest regret, you go ahead and throw it in my face the first chance you get. Wanda, I'm not trying to throw anything in your face or bring up painful memories. You just did. My point is that you shouldn't try to paint Owen as some sort of hero, nor should you paint him to be a threat. This is exactly why you didn't get an invite. I'll see you when I get back home. What you gotta apologize for? Pressuring you to tell me the entire truth about my dad and Adaku. Now I understand how you were put in a tough spot. 
and I see how you are only trying to protect me. I wouldn't be singing praises if I were you, Michelle. I was still keeping secrets from you because you weren't trying to put me in any danger. You gotta listen. There's more secrets I've been keeping from you. What do you mean? After I gave substances to Max Russo, I made a deal with DA Russo. She told me I could either go to prison or give her info on what I know about Adaku. Michelle, all I do is keep things from you. And I'm sorry that I keep disappointing you over and over again. I don't deserve no apologies. I don't even deserve to be forgiven. Most of all, I don't deserve you. What was that for? Why kiss me since I hurt you so much? You did, but it wouldn't have hurt so much if I didn't love you. Because I do love you, Zeke. Unlike my father, you actually own your flaws and your stupid choices. I refuse to listen to what people said about my dad. Yet, I couldn't even forgive you when you apologized to me countless times. Knowing that Quinlan almost lost her life made me realize that I could have lost you too. Zeke, I don't know how I would have lived with myself if I lost you forever. You don't gotta worry about me going anywhere. I'm done with dealing. I'm done with cheating. I'm done with hurting you, Nichelle. I'm so sorry for all the pain I've caused you and I don't want to cause you any more pain. Please don't pity me, Ben. This isn't my way of pitying you. Like I said, I've had time to reflect. When we were together and you were keeping that disgusting secret about you and my dad, I was so angry. I didn't even stop to truly consider that you didn't cheat on me at all. But since you did involve yourself with my father, it made me question if your feelings for me were genuine. They were. My feelings for you are real. I see it now, Quinlan. Seeing a Daku point her gun at you, all I could think about was the fact that we never got to make amends. Now, we can grasp the chance, which is right in front of us. Ben, I'm so sorry for how much I hurt you. I know how hard it was for you to trust anyone. I should have been honest the very moment I had these feelings for you. And I'm sorry for any things before it really began. I have nothing against starting over and creating new beginnings. What about you? Keith? Hello? Are you in there? What is Max Russo doing here? Vanessa invited him here. Do you promise not to cause any trouble? Ouch. Don't you think throwing a gift away was kind of harsh? Was it? After all, Max, you're the expert in knowing how harsh I can be. Vanessa? Vanessa, are you okay? Don't worry about me. It's nothing. 